And here we go. Mike is clicking on the button. Ann and Mike talk broadband. All right, we're off, Ann. We're let's, off. Let's talk us some broadband. Sounds good. <laughs> So you want to introduce us, or shall uh, I just plunge in? Well, uh, you know, I, I will just say that uh, I'm with Blinded on Broadband blog, and uh, Mike, you're in a, you, I know, will have good advice for the, uh, bro the, the newly named Minnesota Broadband Task Force, um, because you did such an amazing job on the task force, the original task force. So with that, I'm excited to hear your, your thoughts on broadband for the task force, and I'll let you go from there if that's okay. Okay, here we go. So um, I am going to, I think we'll do two of these. I think we'll do one about ubiquitous broadband because that was a big piece of the report. And then we'll do another one about everything else that I'm interested in sharing because I don't think I can cram all of this in 10 minutes and 10 minutes is the magic YouTube upload number. And so we'll do 10 minutes on ubiquity and then 10 minutes on everything else. So stay tuned for the second half. If you like this one, there's another one coming, dang damn it. Uh, what you see on your screen is basically all of the ideas in our report about ubiquity on one page. And what I'm going to do in the next 10 minutes with Anne is sort of walk you through this because there's actually uh, an important thing that you the new task force need to know and that is that there's a work plan for you already in that report that we wrote and we want to show it to you so if you look at this you see that there are really three big things that we thought were important for ubiquitous broadband leadership oversight and stimulation and as you work your way outward you can see that when we talk about leading we're really talking about mobilizing and empowering and managing and then as you get to the edge you see that well what are we mobilizing well we're mobilizing resources and communities we're empowering people and businesses and so on so this is going to move pretty fast uh, and feel free to break in on me anytime but 10 minutes isn't very long to talk about all this stuff. So the first part we're going to look at is the leadership part. And in the leadership part of the report, by the way, all of these words and phrases are in the original ultra high speed broadband task force report. They start on page 56. So you don't, and, and I think Ann and I will figure out a way to get this slide deck up on the net for you too. Uh, yep. So you don't have to take notes. Anyway, one of the big deals that we were worried about in the original task force was the problem of all those other reports that became shelfware. So please, you new people, don't let this one become another piece of shelfware. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by stupid stuff that doesn't really make any difference, like creating more reports. We don't need any more reports. We now know pretty clearly what we need to do and this next 10 minutes now 8 is going to flip you through that in a hurry. Another big point is don't think that you have to do this all by yourselves. There's a bunch of us out here who will help you. That's the leadership from across all the stakeholders notion. You all are not doing the heavy lifting. You are the catalyst. You are the people that call the meetings that we show up at and we help with. So that's the thought there. So I'm, I'm not going to go through all of these in any detail at all. I just want to flip through them and let you kind of cast your eye down them to show you how detailed we were when we made our recommendations. There are a whole bunch of little hearings that you all could call where you could say, well, how are we doing on collecting those best practice methodologies? Who's doing that? And if nobody's doing that, then who should? And come on, let's get going on that. So you can see as we flip through these that there's all kinds of stuff to do that, that you can't do by yourselves. Uh, no way. 
uh, no way that you could even uh, manage all this stuff. You have got to pay attention to what you do best, which is focusing attention, getting people thinking about stuff, nudging people along, and checking on them. And that's what this management thing is all about. So then we go on and we, you know, the, we wrote our report right when the federal stimulus was being formulated. And so we said, well, what should we stimulate? What should we do? And again, we had ideas about that. We had ideas about uh, coordination, incentivizing stuff, building stuff. And what we were really uh, trying to emphasize in the report is how many people are going to have to do this stuff. And again, I encourage you, the task force members, not to think in terms of doing this all by yourselves. Because again, there's a big long list. Look at all this coordination that needs to happen. And I think the big deal on this page is that if everybody does their projects in silos and doesn't talk to each other, we miss a lot. We miss the opportunity to springboard off of what other folks are doing. Same goes with um, infrastructure. Um, there's a lot of infrastructure to get built. No, the carriers and the providers don't have to do it all. There are a bunch of us that are doing infrastructure that can do things that others can leverage if we know about it, if we pay attention. And again, there's this incentivizing thing. There's uh, probably not a lot of money in the state budget, people. I don't think you need to hear that from me. But there are a lot of things that can be done to incentivize activities besides throwing money at them. And so we had a bunch of things that we thought about on that task force that you should, again, be holding little hearings about or thinking about or something. And then finally, uh, we had sort of an oversight function. Regulation is sort of a charged word, and we tiptoed away from that in the first task force. There's so much to do that uh, we don't need to touch the regulation stuff. You all may at some point, but that's sort of the third rail, and I would advise you to stay away from that this time around. You know, what, we're, what we were really interested in is this notion that if you measure it, if you keep an eye on it, it will get done. And that's your job. That's what the new task force is supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be keeping an eye on progress, activity, who's doing what, who's sharing what with whom, et cetera, et cetera. And so again, three very dense pages. Talk about a dense page. Look at that. Here's all the stuff that we thought about uh, we needed to get really good information. We felt really hampered in the first task force, that we had lousy information available for doing policy. And this was our wish list to get a lot better information this time around. You'll see a lot of NTI mapping project stuff. That's the Connect Minnesota thing that's going on now. Uh, you all ought to be the steering committee for that project. You ought to be managing very closely what goes on in the Connect Minnesota mapping stuff. Uh, then there is some common sense that needs to be applied here. How are we doing? What's working? What's not working? What should we change to make things work better? Uh, you know, these are all uh, things that we felt fit into this oversight function. And then finally, uh, we thought that people ought to reward or be rewarded for their successes. And since we haven't got any money, we thought uh, acknowledging people by name, promoting, publicizing, all that kind of stuff uh, were a good, a good set of things to do. And then finally, uh, there are important words from our friend Yoda. There is an incredible need to do things. We've, we're now two years after that task force was done, and we really need to get on to the doing. Uh, so that's my uh, 
words of wisdom from Yoda, and there's the picture of the plow that plowed fiber into my farm. My farm is 50 miles away from a town of 1,000 people, so yes, this can happen to you too, and yes, that's me <laughs> on <laughs> that Caterpillar tractor. And you got 10 seconds to wrap us up, and then we'll go to part two. To, uh, uh, Mike, I think you've done a great job. I think reminding the task force that they don't have to do it alone. There are uh, Minnesota experts. There are folks who maybe aren't experts, but there are folks on the front lines, um, and those people are, are at their disposal as well. Uh, and I liked, really liked what you said about choose what to, what to measure. I think it's up to the task force to choose what to, to measure and to help reward folks who are making, making those measurements. So I, I think that's fantastic, Mike. Thank you. Okay, see you later. Back in a minute.